Uh, I thought I'd make like a little instructional video on how to do all the Bastion routes nowadays and like how to identify them just all in one place. Um, so yeah, I'll start with bridge. So you can identify bridge just because all the gold blocks are in this one spot. It's called the chalice um, and it's on a bridge. So yeah, this is the route. Start with getting all the gold blocks. Um, so there's three bridge routes depending on what the bastion actually looks like. So I'll turn around and show you in a sec. But you only get like around 12 gold blocks. Um, make a helmet. And then grab one more gold block. Um, you don't you don't need all the gold blocks in bridge because there are just so many of them compared to the other bastions. Um, so the route you're gonna do depends on which tower is tall. So in this case, the one on the left is tall. Um, a lot of times, the one on the right is gonna be tall, and sometimes neither of them are gonna be tall. If both of them are tall, you generally do the right the right tall tower route because it's just more consistent generally. So I'll reset and show you the right tower route first. So. As I said, grab around 11 or 12, and you need one more gold block at the end for aggroing the piglins. Uh, make a helmet. Grab one more gold block, my crafting table fell off, that's okay. So you're going to want to go between the first two lava falls here, the tower up. Go across the staircase over to the right, go down here, and make a little pit, that's where the piglins are going to go in. Break the block above them, um, you can throw gold blocks if there's like piglins right here so they don't start attacking you immediately. You want to block off any piglins coming up from here, and now to aggro all them, you place a gold block here, break it, replace with a block, and then just start throwing in the gold. You'll get like 10 or so piglins doing this route, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Might be a few late commas, so just like, look out for that, I guess. Um, and you've given them all the gold, you start going up to the towers and getting all the obsidian and string and extra gold and stuff. Um, there's this jump you can do in bridge, you can make it every time if you just like, uh, from here to here, if you just start sprinting off of this block and then start holding jump while you're in the air falling down to there. So I'll just show you what that looks like, you hold jump and then you can just make a cross every time. Going back, I like to be a little bit more safe, but <laughs> doesn't really matter if you fall down. Um, so they're almost on. So this route, the, 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 all these routes are going to be like around two minutes, if not just under. So yeah, I've got like enough string, enough obsidian, everything. Okay. Um, I'll show you the left tall tower one next. Okay, this one, the one on the left is tall. So same start. All the bridge routes have the same start. Just grabbing all the gold blocks. One more. And <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, good one. Try that again. You can generally just juke out the hoglins on the bridge. Um, if you can't, you can always just lava bucket them and wait. But all right, this is the left route. Break these blocks to, so the piglins can go up here. Break the gold blocks so they all aggro you. Make that jump I talked about. Place two blocks here and there, and then make a bridge for them to get across. 
And then there's a hole here every time, just break it one more so there's a 2D pole for the piglins to go in. And you'll get a lot of pigs doing this route as well. If there are piglins stuck down here, just like put one block to so they can get up. Aggro them if you want. They're still stuck. So, yeah. Sometimes you're a bit stupid and you just need to be patient. <laughs> oh, hello. Alright, yeah. This is also a route where you get a lot of pigs. So, as you can see, I've got 13 doing this. Um, they're gonna trade all your gold away very quickly. <clears throat> Um, when you're looting this other triple chest, what you can do is you can go into the chest, throw them like gold stuff, and then like loot it, so you don't have to like waste time, uh, you know, digging into the, into the, like next to the chests or anything. Um, obviously if you're low health it might be a bit risky. Um, yeah, so that's a route. I think enough obsidian, that's an L. But anyway, all right. So now, what if the both the towers are short? So it's quite similar to the left tall tower. It's just you go to a different place because obviously the, there's no triple chest there. You make a helmet, by the way, um, in case you get soul speed boots, like it's just a waste of gold making uh, making boots if you're just not going to use them. So yeah, same as the left, where you go up here, break the gold block again, jump, same two blocks, bridge again. Now you go around here, block them off, make a two hole pit there, and then you can break the barrier and let the pigs go in. You can aggro any like piglins that are around here that might have just like got lost or confused. Um, yeah. So this route is like the worst. Like you're generally looking for a triple chest to do the route in. Um because you just get more pigs, like more pigs generate in triple chests than single chests, so it's just more consistent. Like, I've only got 8 here, where the other ones give about like 11-ish. Um, so it'll be a bit slower. But either way. Yeah. Again, no obsidian, it's a bit of an L, but I don't know. Just throw them in gold here, go somewhere else. Yep. So that's bridge. Um, all of them you can do in under two minutes pretty easily if you practice a bit. And you get enough obsidian, so you're not waiting for trades for, <laughs> for a ton, but anyway. Okay, next one, I'm going to do housing next. So housing, you can differentiate between housing and stables by the fact that well, there's a soul sand in the middle. If you can't see that, there are two t like towers. Stables has three. So uh, you start this route by breaking the chest in the middle, so the big ones are going to anchor you. you. Go up to here, you want to head towards the tall tower. So you want to like get up next to the chest and then block the pigs off. Dig up here, break the block, and then go into this like hole thing. Dig down three blocks, and then once forwards, or two forwards, get the first gold block, and then this is where your pigs are gonna go. You'll get a ton of piglins doing this housing route. It's, this is why housing is the fastest bastion. Also because you're getting the gold blocks as they're trading. On like bridge where you get them all at the um, get them all at the start. Like you can see the gold counter at the bottom next to my timer in yellow. Like it's constantly like um 
being depleted or at zero. Okay, so you're gonna get that chest you went by at the start. Nice, already like 20 obsidian, don't even need to go to the top at all. Show you anyway. Um, same as always, you can put gravel here and then block them off to stop them shooting or attacking you or anything. Um, yeah, so I've already got everything. Like, that's sub 110 basically. So if you get gold armor, that's useful. Uh, if you still need more obsidian, which usually you will if you want to go for 20, you go up the staircase like this. And same thing as before, looting the chest, you can just throw them stuff, um, and then loot. So yeah, that's called Manhunt Housing Root. Um, yeah, you could start at the top, like um, up here. So if you start at the top here, you're gonna wanna like break a chest to aggro them, or for some reason I can't break the chest, whatever. You can just punch them, and then run down the stairs, just the same way you went up the stairs the other route. You can break one of these Gilded Blackstone blocks, like aggro them more if you want to, but usually it's not necessary. Okay, it's not letting me like place anything, but whatever. Um, it's being weird. <laughs> Just the maps being weird. Try again. Alright, now it's working. So yeah, break a chest or run towards here. Like while you're in this mid part, you can break Gilded Black Zone. And you go to the same hole and just do the same thing basically. Um, if you don't have like... Um, if you have gold armor at the start, of this route, the top down route, then you can, um, or, or if you're like ballsy enough to do the loot thing at the start, then you can like grab the chest first so you don't have to just go back up again. Um, but yeah, it's a bit risky, <laughs> obviously, but it, it's faster. So yeah, those are your options for housing. Just depends where you are, really. Give them your goal as well. Yep, then you just do the same thing. Okay. Um, next is treasure. Actually, no, I'll do stables next. So, stables. Um, as you can see it has three towers. These towers have three different heights, so the one on the left is like the shortest. Um, sometimes has a chest, it sometimes doesn't. Um, these are like the mid heights. Oh no, these are, yeah, these are the mid height. Um, they have one chest, and then you can have a triple chest as well, like housing and bridge. Um, yep. So, yep, short S, single, triple chest. So this is the general route. Um, you start like at the very bottom and then like towards the towers. So here's like the side at the towers and at the very bottom. So you want to make a like ledge up here so the ones can attack you and you can get armor. Attack you, you can do that. Alright, so in Sables, you're looking for gaps um, for this route. So the gap, good gaps are the ones that have gold, and bad gaps are the ones that have chests. So you can identify um, this is where one of the good gaps would be. I'm just gonna block this guy off. <laughs> This is where one of the good gaps, uh, this one where the, ah, this is where one of the gaps is. Uh, this is a bad gap, you can identify it by this cracked blackstone here. This will just be normal blackstone if it's a good gap. Or you can like dig in this wall and if it's like still a wall, then it's a bad gap. This is where you go. If it's a good gap, I'll show you in a second. But this will be a staircase if, if, it's, if it's a good gap. And the other one is up this staircase over here. And this is a good gap. 
Um, you can tell uh, if you dig through this wall and you can like see the other side, it's a good gap. If it looks like this when you dig, it's a bad gap. So um, I think I'll show you the the right side good gap route first. So yeah, I just want to go to the bottom. Try and take as little full damage as possible on like that. Good amount of time so we um we armor there. So yeah, because you can see the crack black stones on there, so this is a good gap. So the staircase here. So you can go down here. Two blocks there, break this one, and there's a two deep gap there. This is where the starting gold is. Um, Get that gold, dig down one, and then dig the one in front of you, it'll be a bit safer. And then break this block here. Um, and then there'll be a bunch of piglins up there as well. So just throw them on your gold, and then the rest of the gold is down here. So you can just place that block to stop any like late come up to ones coming towards you. Yeah, like that. <laughs> then you can just do that. Just that one. Yep, farm the rest of the gold. Um, and then you can go up to the top and then come back down. Unlike housing, stables is you don't get as many pigs in housing. Um, so you can go up to these chests and the, and come back down and they'll still be trading. Um, whereas housing you wait for the trades and then go up because if you just like go up to the top and then go back down you're just wasting time. They'll finish trading before you even get to the top. Um, so yeah there'll be chests here sometimes. Just get any chests that you see basically. Um, but generally you want to get the ones at the top. So as I said before, the mid-height ones have a chest here, same as all the other bastions really. Have triple chests. And then these are the single chests like in the corner here. So yeah. Uh, and then you just go back to where you were basically. You'll get better at like identifying where you are. Um, stable sucks, it's the slowest bastion. I did talk for a bit, but like um, all the other bastions are consistently sub two minutes. This one is kinda iffy on that front. Um, yep, that's the right side good gap route. Um, and this is, I'll try and show you the left side good gap route. Uh, hopefully. No, okay. So that's a bad gap, as you can see. Because you can't get through there. Um, Just keep rolling out until I get a left side quick out. It's 50-50. So. Usually they'll just stop caring about you once you put on armor. Ah. <laughs> Last time I got three triples at the top, now I have three like really short ones. This is why stable sucks. Because it's just like so um, RNG dependent, I guess. Sometimes both of these can be bad gaps. Um, and if you don't have a triple at the top, that just means there's zero gold in the bastion, which is a bit of an L. Really? Like, there's just not much you can do about that. 
Like, if I'm trying to show you getting a good left side, it's just hard. <laughs> So this is a good gap. Go down this staircase. It's pretty similar. When you go down the left, um, then it's pretty much just the same setup. Just knowing where to go, I guess. It's important to show. These blocks here, and also over there with all the other gold. Um, I don't know why I didn't. With all the other gold, don't. Um, have like a 90% chance of spawning, so you can get like only three, like I did there. That's normal. <laughs> I think some of these gold blocks, like a certain, like these three, don't always spawn, I'm pretty sure. So I'll just show you that they're slow. Um, Throw the gold blocks. I have eight piglins, which is like more than usual. So you go back up the staircase. Up here. Now you're out. Um, this this bastion sucks because there's no like single chest, uh, triple chest. <laughs> yeah. So usually you get like six piglins doing this stable route. Um, I've got eight, so they'll probably finish before I'm done. But, yeah, so they just finished them. But if you had six, you could easily loot all these chests. Um, and then go back down. Um, it's still pretty close to two minutes. Like, it, um, it's not a super slow route. Um, nice, we just fell onto the hog one. Not enough obsidian because I didn't get a single triple chest. Anyway, um, okay, and there's one more sable throughout. Um, okay, cool, I got it straight away. That's good. So, this is if you have two um, triples at the top. You can do it if you only have one, but it's very high roll. So, you want to go up to the top of the one on the right, so in this case I have the middle one and the left one a triple, so I'm going up the middle one. Um, there's a hole down here, you just want to run into here, block the pigs off, and then the gold's here. You get four gold blocks per triple chest. Um, this is a faster route than the gaps, but it's very, it's the lowest common that you can do it. So you want to make, um, not here, you, actually yes here. So you want to make a gap here, break this block, break this block, and then break this block, and you'll get a bunch of things. Uh, if you dig through this wall now, you'll find the gold to the other triple chest if you just go up here. So you're looking for a room with a bunch of like chiseled blackstone with the pig faces. And that's where the other gold is. Um, the way to get here is a little bit different depending on where your triple chests are, but it's generally like you just dig through that wall and have a look. <laughs> um, so yeah, you gave them eight gold blocks, which is quite a bit. And there's a bunch of pigs. Got sixteen. <laughs> that's, wow, that's a lot. Um, so yeah, it's still high roll. At like 8 gold blocks isn't a lot, you can see I have like no obsidian, but I'm gonna go up to the chest anyway to look at obsidian. But I only have 15 pearls, like, um, yeah. Obviously for speedruns you'd, you'd prefer this route. Like if I saw a bastion with two good gap, a stable bastion with two good gaps and two triple chests, I'll be doing this route every day. Um, so I'll just try and, okay, this one has all three. So I'll just show you if you have the one on the right and the middle, 
rather than the middle on the left. If you have the left and the right, you just have to like go to where the triple, the other triple is, like just walk over there instead of just breaking through a wall. Um, so this is if you have the right in the middle, just the place you go to get to the second. A lot of gold blocks is a little bit different. It's, it's um, it's pretty much in the same place. So that block, that block, that block. And that's where the big ones will be. Okay. <laughs> Surely he figures it out eventually, right? <laughs> big ones are stupid. Yep, so you dig through this wall, um, make a bridge so the piglins can get up so you can get more. If you so wish. Um, don't know why they're not getting angry at me, whatever, I'll just like run past them. And then the gold will be here. You'll get enough pigs. Just want, if you just want to not deal with them. So once you've thrown them the second lot of gold, you can go up to the triple chest and like get all your shit. That's confusing. There are like two holes and sables, one there, one here. Go on the top one. Anyway. Um, yep. That's stables. And the last one is treasure. Um, treasure's pretty nice. It's like the least confusing bastion because there's only one route. Um, so you want to get to this lava basin here tower up to the top here. You want to break this block so the piglins can't reach here. Get up to the gold block, break it, make it into ingots, jump over here, block it off, grab the other one. And you want to do some parkour, which I failed at. <laughs> you want to do some parkour to get to the staircase. So I'll just show you again. It's totally intentional. Grab the gold, ingots, yeah, grab the other gold block. Offhand your gold block, break this block, and replace it with gold, break it. You want to throw gold to the floor so they don't hit you. Make it, put two blocks there so they, the other piglins over there can get to you. And as you saw, I just created a pit there, and you can throw them your gold. Um, I think I accidentally threw most of my gold. Um, whatever. Um, so, so in treasure, it treasure is also a bit RNG. Um, so there are uh, one, two, three, four, five gold blocks you can get in each like in each rampart. Uh, there are two. So this is the other one. They're both they're symmetrical. They're the same. So I'll just show you where they could be. They have a 70% chance of generating in each spot. So on average, you'll get like three or four. Um, so if you're looking at like this, gold blocks are there, there, and there. Here could be a gold block, this block here, and then that block there could also be a gold block. So I'll just show you that. One more time. This route's probably the hardest one. None of the routes are that hard. So okay, this is why I, this, this is why I make the ingots. So sometimes there'll be a crossbow guy on the bridge. Um, you don't want him to knock you off. So you throw some of the ingots so he's like uh, preoccupied. And then you get the other gold block. 
Um, obviously you want ingots to throw while you're like at this point as well, but like pre-crafting it as the ingots as soon as possible is just helpful because of that situation. Um, yeah. So I put that dirt block there just so I can throw it more, like, more consistently. So gold block in the corner is here, and then at the top, at the left. So it's at the bottom at the right, and at the top on the left. And then you just do both. Yep. So you have your gold blocks. Um, Go the rest to them, then you can go down here. You can kind of juke out any pick ones that are still here by just placing a block there. You don't have any gold armor on, so they'll get mad at you. you find gold armor in the chest here, it's fine. If they're still mad at you, you can just like, have a look at them or whatever. So it's uh, your three chests one, two, and then three in there. Um, okay, so I have no pearls, so if you don't get enough gold blocks from the ramparts, there's a couple more, like, backup blocks you can get. So one's over here, it's like where the stairs are on the right side. And then sometimes there'll be one here, where the left stairs is, and you just dig up a bit. There's one here. And if you go into this room over here, the other chest, there's, one, there's always one here. Again, all in line with the stairs, and then the same thing, it's the other side, if you dig up here. Um, So those are generally, if you, if you need more gold. So yeah, just show you the route one more time in full, just with no commentary. So you might want to check your trades at this point, like when you're going to get the chests, um, just to see how much stuff you have, just to see if you might want to get some of the extra gold blocks or not. So I saw that I have 8 obsidian, so I'm going to grab like 1. Actually I should have 8 pearls. Treasure. So that's all Bastions. Um, nothing too crazy in any of them. Um, there's a few routes for some of them. Treasure's a bit hard. Stables is weird and RNG dependent. Um, it'll take a while to get used to knowing which route 
you want to do because um, there'll be terrain covering the top parts and stuff but um, after a while you'll get a hang of identifying them even when there's like it's like covered and stuff um, yep that's pretty much it thanks